okay so we've done the the first one going down going up going down i'm going to go up and then i'll do the last row going down and then our design will be complete okay so we're going to be flipping upwards okay so the, the only thing you need to remember is the one of the rows must be going down the next one going up and then down and then up that's the only thing that we are doing okay so we are going to be flipping the pleats upwards okay this will be your guide look in front making sure that you flip all the pleats in the same direction okay And then I'm going to stitch the last row with all the pleats facing the opposite direction that we were stitching. Yay! Okay, so there we are, our design is formed. And that is simply how you make these kinds of pleats. You can put it on any piece of clothing or um, decor, whatever it is you, you want to do. You can put it on coats, on jackets, on blouses. So it looks something like this. Okay. And the next thing is just to place it on our, um, on our pieces. Okay, so these are our front pieces. Oops, something just fell. Sorry for that. And then this is our pattern piece. And it's just a matter of stitching it to the, to the two pieces. Okay. So we're going to be placing it this way we stitch at half inch so you'll have to somehow um cut it in a straight line okay so you place it there stitch and then you place this one okay right sides facing you stitch it's half inch there you stitch it and then the top piece will be done as well the next thing is just joining the back i mean the front to the back piece okay okay guys so i've gone on to pin our um, our piece with the pleats to the two pieces of the center or of the front and i pinned it in the center so you just place it right side facing right side okay and then i've pinned it i'm just going to stitch on both sides stitch on both sides so afterwards this is what our front is going to look like okay after that then we are going to be attaching it to the back piece um, actually before doing that we are also going to be attaching the zipper where uh, the, the, the cushion cover will be able to or the cushion will be able to to be placed into this cushion cover so i like that design and i think our cushion is our cushion cover is going to look very beautiful okay so i'm just going to go ahead and stitch the sides and then you can overlock it or you can use a zigzag stitch whatever you can use yeah because it will be on the inside of the of the of the cushion cover okay so this is how it's going to look and then we're going to be attaching the zipper to the uh, top part Okay, so I've gone on to 
so the the centerpiece which has the design to the two pieces to the two front pieces okay and now before we do anything we're going to be attaching the zipper um so you can see also here i've gone on to iron in about half inch on the on the back piece as well so this is where we're going to be placing our zipper this is how the inside looks like after sewing okay so we need to flip this in and um, we can take out two inches you can say even two and a half and to do this on the wrong side okay We're going to take out two inches on either side and then we're going to be inserting the we're going to be inserting the zipper in the space that will be left okay but uh, this is what i mean so this is the edge let me remove this one this is the edge so we take out two inches it can even be two and a half inches let's use two and a half inches and then on the other end also two and a half inches so somewhere there okay and then you place the wrong and right sides together and we are going to stitch on that okay let me just do this Okay, so that's the two and a half inch mark. Let me place the pins this way. Let's try to make sure the edges align. okay so what is supposed to happen is we're going to stitch from the edge to that one uh, two, two and a half mark inch on the same side on the other side also we're going to do the same you stitch up to those two points and then we are going to be placing the zipper in between there the zipper is going to stay in the in that place okay so let me just quickly stitch those two points and then i show you how it looks like mm -hmm. 